The live commentary may not reflect this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright, now we're gonna do Walnut Bowling 2. This is where you can get Roll Some Heads and Penny Pincher very easily. Alright, so we also have a, a giant walnut. This is the most powerful plant in the game. If you do hacking, you can even take out Dr. Zomballs. But it's just gonna plow right through zombies without giving you any coins. My problems with walnut bowling come, to, come from the fact that it just starts off kind of boring because so little, so little zombies come right at the start. But don't give me a but. Don't worry, it gets more fun as it goes on. Hey, it's doing the funny animation. Why doesn't it fall backwards? Our thing is already full, full of stuff we don't. I don't want to use. But yeah, the giant walnut can take out any zombie in one hit. Use the exploder nut just to make things go faster. Here comes the screen door zombie. Screen door zombies require four walnuts to take out. But there is there is um there is an alternative to that. If you hit the screen door zombie from the side, that will instantly take it out. Because remember, the zombie is protected by the screen door. The zombie itself is as strong as a normal zombie. See? I'm surprised that pole vaulter didn't jump. Yeah, if you have a giant wall that's next up into a pole vaulter, it'll actually just take it out. Yeah. Check it out, Dancing Zombie! So you can get a ton of backup dancers and just rack up the coins. When I was, uh, when I had the DSi version trying to get, uh, nine slots, because, uh, because, um, because, uh, it doesn't go up to ten in the DS version, uh, the... I used to spend a long time in, uh, in, um, in Walnut Bowling 2 trying to get, trying to get all the, all the coins for it. Because that was really the only way you could do it, because Zen Garden wasn't, wasn't in the game. Oops, I didn't mean to put that there. Okay. Yeah, this was the best way to make make uh to make uh to get coins in the DSI eShop or not the eShop, but the Nintendo DSI shop op version. See, we got roll over some heads again. Or roll some heads. I don't know why I keep saying roll over. Maybe it's roll, roll over some heads in some other version of the game. It's so cool seeing the dancing zombie in here. You honestly don't see the, the dancing zombie all that much in the game, despite him being very iconic. There we go. Slowly whittling down the screen door zombies as well. 
the giant willow would just penetrate right through the screen door. I do like how it makes a bowling sound, even though that bowling sound is um, when you hit a lot of pins, not just one pin. Here come more of them. See, Walnut Bowling too, that because there's so many zombies, you can easily get a lot of coins here. Sorry, we had yet another encoding overload, and I'm going to be paying attention to the, uh... I'm going to be paying attention to, um... I basically moved the window down closer to the, uh... Closer to the, uh, recording window, so I can see it at when it happens. You're also probably bound to lose at, le at least a few lawnmowers during this, if you're trying to get all the coins. giving me stuff, but I mean, like, I want to use regular walnuts. I want to get coins. But when the zombies are getting kind of close, maybe it'd be better to, uh, use, uh, use the giant walnuts or the explodo nuts. Explodo nuts. I love that. I love that, um, that name. The explodo nut was, uh, was actually eventually added into Plants vs. Zombies 2 as a plant, as a defensive plant you can actually, um, use during normal levels because, yeah, spoilers, walnut bowling isn't in, uh, Plants vs. Zombies 2. Which is fine, I don't really mind all that much. Actually, maybe it is. I haven't really played much of the- I haven't really played any of the modern day levels. But, um... But, maybe- maybe Walnut Bowling was included in that... Just as a little reference. Little reference. I think you'll actually get uh, like two two uh, gold coins if you roll over six zombies. Oh, I got even more dancers. Both of those guys wasted their poles. Now, apparently, the uh, pole vaulting zombie is one of the only is one of the smarter zombies because he actually knew to ma to make his pole out of aluminum, so it can't be taken by a magnet room. Or maybe it's just made of plastic. Maybe the whole metal thing didn't cross his mind at all. say bam there, but okay, I guess it came out as damn. The live commentary may not reflect this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. Jeez, there's a lot of zombies. No, I want to use an exploded nut just so we can see how many we can get.
Alright, we're doing good. And we're getting rich over here. I, I didn't actually see how many uh, coins we started the level with. But if anyone remembers that... But if anyone remembers, uh, well, just go look back in the recording and, s and see how many we started with. No, 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 put that down. And then we can see what a difference it was. Ooh, another Zen Garden plant. So yeah, it's not really that common to get Zen Garden plant while, while doing normal gameplay, but um, if you do, it's definitely worth it. Gonna use an exploder nut here. Take take the rest of them out. <laughs> Keep on collecting those trophies. Now it is time for Pogo Party. Check it out. We got all these jerks. Now, oh wait, I almost forgot about the uh, Zangarden plants. Do that first. All right, let's see what it is. Classic sunflower. Okay. Back to begins. Time for Poco Party. Yeah, look at all those jer jerks. No cone heads, thankfully. Um, in the mobile version of Plants for Zombies, there is an achievement for beating Poco Party without using tall nuts or magnet shrooms. Yeah. But thankfully that, that uh, achievement is not in this version, so we don't have to worry about it. I'm just going to get the traditional plants. Um, we'll get uh, squash. I want to get squash for this, definitely. In case we need any instant damage plants, we'll get cherry bomb, uh, jalapeno, and um, what else should we get? Oh, sunflower, of course. Duh. Okay. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, we'll do... Um, Okay, fine. I guess we'll get rid of a uh, Colonel Holt then. Let's do get the flower pot. Now, just like Bob Slip Bonanza, the uh, the zombies will not come for uh, for a while, so it gives you plenty of time to build up sun. The first and foremost thing I want to do, though, is I want to put is I want to get a magnet shroom down in the middle, so if it, so if any pogo zombie comes from any lane, then uh, we'll be able to, then we'll be able to just steal its pogo stick right then and there. The squash is also going to be a huge help during this level. Alright, here, here comes the first one. Alright, we'll put a, uh, a squash right there. Alright. Here comes the next one. Oh shoot, it's on the same lane as the, uh, it's on the same lane as the, uh, as the, uh, magnet shroom. Oh geez, um, I'll put a flower pot right behind it, and um, oh, man. put a flower pot right behind it and use a squash. Just want to keep building up. Just want to keep building up sun. And actually, the tall that's almost uh, re almost recharged. Actually, it is recharged now. So, uh, should we use a jalapeno? Actually, I'll use the cherry bomb. We got our sun we got our sunflowers up. I'm gonna wait for the squash to recharge. 
Alright, now I'm going to start putting more tallnuts down. And, uh, and then, and then we'll be, and then I think I'll, and then we'll put a melon pole down. Oh, shoot. Uh, no, I put it in the wrong place! Uh, okay. Uh, jalapeno. Oh, man, that was stupid. Well, any pogo zombie that comes there, we'll just let the squash take it. Melon pole. Yeah, making a mistake can cost you in some of these minigames. Put another squash here. Alright, I'm just gonna like to let the squash take out that one. I wish the zombies had different voices for the different ones because the because the uh because the um the pogo zombie looks kind of look actually looks like he had he could have like a persona. I kind of wish he had a I kind of wish he had a uh like a middle-aged man voice, I guess. That's not maybe that's not the correct term. All right, I already have a huge wave of zombies approaching. Might want to put down more magnet shrooms, but we do have the cherry bomb. That's not a very huge wave of zombies, but I don't know. Maybe it's huge to you. Cherry bomb. Got it. Now we're getting, now we're getting our melon pole stuff. This this you may struggle a little bit to actually like set up set up your RB during this mini game, but um you know, it can be done. Oh gosh, oh no, oh okay 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 come on maggot shroom there you go. All right, let's wait for the uh oh no that was a bad decision that was a very very bad decision come on one more hey he got him. Uh, Waste of sun, but at least we got him. Well, we're definitely going to need more magnet shrooms, but I wanted to get our melon pulse down first. And also, one more tall nut will do. See if these, uh, if the, that one uh, melon pulse can actually take out both of those, um. I don't know. The ones around it only do, uh, splash damage, just like the, uh, just like, um, just like, uh, Torchwood. Um, but the one, the one that the melon, the zombie that the melon hits will be the one that it does the most damage to. Alright. Now we've got a, me a melon pole in every lane. Now we're gonna start putting more. Uh, now we're gonna start putting, putting start putting more um, maggot shrooms down. Thankfully, there's only three flags here, not like four. Oops! I clicked out of the window again by accident. Somebody count how many times I accidentally click out of the window during Plants vs. Zombies. Now looking at this, I bet you're wondering, how the hell did you ever get that achievement in the mobile version? 
And yeah, actually, I didn't. I guess I didn't say. Um, yes, I did get that achievement at one point. I don't exactly remember how I did it, but all I remember is I just used a lot of instant. I just use a lot of um, insta kill plants. I definitely use squash during it. Like insta kill plants are very useful for getting um for getting uh, uh zombies that maybe cause me a little bit of trouble. I think that tall one's gonna die soon. Actually, I think I also used like kernel pult and like not didn't and didn't just always use melon pult during that. That would have made it a lot more difficult. Alright, we're in the final wave. Oh no, I, I forgot about, I forgot, the bungee zombies that come down and bring the zombies. Uh, the umbrella leaves can uh, prevent those, by the way, uh, but they're still, still gonna cause problems. Right here. Oh, of course they would put one in there. You ate my magnet room. There's Pogo Party, done like dinner. And at last, the final minigame, Dr. Zomboss's Revenge. You may think this is going to be like a completely new minigame, completely new experience, but it's not really. It's just, it's really just, you can play, you can do the, you can, it's really just that you can play the final boss anytime you want. Hopefully I can have a better run of it than I did, um, the, than I did, uh, during like the actual final boss. But you know what, Brainiac Maniac song just never gets old. And actually, um, and actually, uh, I can tell you, all you guys, that there's actually an unused track for Plants vs. Zombies. This one is actually called Zombotany. And presum presumably, um, presumably it would have let you, it would have played during, um, you know, Zombotany. But actually, according to, according to, uh, some... <coughs> According to uh, oh man. According to some comments made, some someone made, um, it was actually originally going to be the final boss theme. Oh, uh, here, um, give it a listen. So yeah, it's a pretty cool song. Though, I think we can all agree that it was changed for the better. Brainiac Maniac, one of the best songs in this game. Now, I never got to show this, but I think if you... I think if you uh, put uh, flower pots, like, right here, I think Dr. Zombos will actually stomp on them. So yeah. This minigame isn't anything too crazy. It just lets you, just again, lets you fight the final boss whenever you want. So yeah, same strategies, same old stuff. Here co and here come the bungees. Wow, they only they're only taking one uh one melon pole. Uh, oh, I thought I could get get them before they took it. Oh, already Gargantuar? It's got a duck crossing sign. I wonder if it can have like different kinds of uh signs. Maybe it only stomps on the on the flower pots in the DS version. 
Which that wouldn't that's, that's, that wouldn't be too feasible. Catapult zombies. Ugh. Oh my god, I don't wanna use any jalap any ice shrooms until I know what kind of fall he's gonna do. Oh, okay. Oh. Alright. I gotta wait until he does his attack before putting any more plants down. Okay, not taking any uh, metal pulse, thankfully. It actually may be a better idea to not put the melon pulse in the very bag because then the catapult plants will cause him problems. The catapult zombies, excuse me. Why do I. And here comes the. And here comes the football player. Once again, any plant that is not currently fighting another zombie will fire at Dr. Zomboss, because I think the uh, zombies themselves will be a little bit more important to take out than uh, Doc uh, before uh, firing upon Dr. Zomboss. Oh, not a zomboni. I'm gonna put down a. Uh, I'm gonna put the. Oh, come on! That is cheap. And here comes a pogo zombie now. I think the butter does nothing to them either. And Gargant part two in a lane where I have nothing. And wow, the Gargant, wow, the pogo zombies really are not as strong as I remember. I don't know if the zombie bobsled team can appear in this level. I'm gonna wait till Do Doctor Zombies comes down before doing anything that Gargant more. I guess I could use one ice stream. Oh crap, uh No, I no 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 I meant to uh, I meant I meant to put the I meant to put the jalapeno down. Jeez. Hey another Zen Garden plant! Woo! Alright. Now let's keep using the ice shrooms. Keep him frozen so the plants can fire at him. anything down yet until he does his tag. There he goes. Ah. No. Oh, not Jack in the Box. I'm just gonna use a jalapeno on them. Dr. Zombos is actually kind of limited on what zombies he can put down because he's only uh, because he's only put because he's only putting down like one at a time. Use another healthy new here. Oh yeah, there's an example of him stomping on on flower pods. Oh, I gotta use I gotta use another one. Okay, it's coming down now. What's he gonna do? Oh. Oh, another van. Luckily, he only crushed two flower pots there. I think this run actually actually is a little bit better. I don't know. This, maybe Dr. Zombos actually has a little bit more uh, health in this in uh, this version of the fight than during the during the main adventure because this fight always seemed to go on a little bit longer than uh, uh, than than during the normal game. Use an ice stream too, I get to it so they can take care of those uh, football zombies faster. I'm gonna lays down another one and a zomboni too. Well. There's no false modesty in Melonpold after all. He delivers the biggest punch on the lawn.
And there we go, we're almost, he's almost done. I just heard the explosion, I thought he was done for a second. More bungees, no, they're taking melon pulse. I should have put the mill pole down there. What was that? I heard like some I heard like something stomp. Alright, here we go. Here he is. What's he gonna do? What a final hit! That we get the beyond the grave, the beyond the grave achievement by beating all twenty mini games. All mini games are now beaten. Plants for zombies is not as hard as I remember it being. Oh yeah, we want to see what this new plant is going to be. Oh, it's a pumpkin. So I guess I was wrong about the whole uh, doing things in certain levels thing. All right, guys. That's it for all the mini-games. What? Did... Uh... Next time on Plants vs. Zombies, we're gonna start on Puzzle Mode. See you guys then. And before we end tonight's video and move on to the Puzzle Mode, I would like to talk to you guys about some minigames exclusive to other versions of Plants vs. Zombies. We're going to start off with Buttered Popcorn, a minigame exclusive to not really the mobile version, but I know it's on like the iPad and like the Kindle versions. Uh, but basically, um, this basically this in this minigame, you have Crazy Dave tells you to tap the zombies with your buttery fingers. And in this minigame, you are limited to only four Cobb Cannons. We have not seen Cobb Cannons yet. But, um, but uh, basically, you use these Cobb Cannons to attack the zombies. What you do is you tap the zombies with your buttery fingers, as Dave calls it. And basically, it'll act like uh, Colonel Pult threw butter onto them. That'll immobilize them for a second. And you want to immobilize them to get them all bunched up. And then you want to use the Cobb Cannon to attack them. I think there's some kind of limit on how many butter you can do at once. So I would, uh, well, well I've never played this mini game before, so I wouldn't really know the advice to give you on it. Uh, be warned though, there's gargantuars in it. The next one is called Heavy Weapons. Okay, whatever. Um, but basically, in this mini game, you don't you don't put down plants in this mini game. Instead. Uh, oh yeah, this one is exclusive to the Xbox 360 version of the game, which, by the way, uh, Plants vs. Zombies, it is also on the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita, but I believe all three of those versions are the same. But yeah. In Heavy Weapon, you do not put down plants. Instead, you have a lawnmower at the bottom of the screen that you use the uh, control sticks to control, and you fire, and you fire peas out of a little cannon that's on. Yeah, I don't know what kind of crazy plant genetics crazy day put in this lawnmower, but but whatever, it's helping us kill zombies, it's keeping our brains nice and safe. But yeah, you can, it starts out with just being like a regular pea shooter, but you can also make it to have a repeater effect with two peas at a time, and a three-peater effect with three, three peas at a time. Um, you can also temporarily add a cattail effect, another plant we haven't seen before, a snow pea effect, and a torchwood effect. And you can also lay a doom shroom in the very center of the lawn. So yeah, this is one of my favorite exclusive mini games personally. I haven't played it in a while though. It's been a long time since I played the Xbox 360 version actually. 
Next one I want to talk about is Heat Wave. Now, I already talked about Heat Wave when we play a Big Trouble Little Zombie, but I'll talk about it anyway. This minigame is exclusive to the Nintendo DSi version, or just the Nintendo DS version of the game, um, and it replaces Big Trouble Little Zombie because uh, shrinking the uh, zombie sprites down would make them difficult to see. So, um, so they made this. And in this spinning game, you were limited to only 10 plants, 4 pea shooters, 4 lily pads, and 2 walnuts. And you actually would pick up and move the, the plants around to different locations. And eventually, the uh, pea shooters might get tired, and I think eventually they will die. Um, but you're going to have this bar at the top of the screen that, when it's full, it will say, SHOUT! Crazy Dave says you have to yell, HEY! into the microphone, but you can kind of just blow in it to have the same effect, since, you know, it, I don't think Plants for Zombies is quite advanced enough to that work to work and recognize any specific word you say. But yeah, and you and when the and when the power and when the plant and when you say hey, the pea shooter will be powered up and it will shoot peas just like who just keep shooting them. Um if a plea shooter dies, I think you or just if a plant dies, I think you can get it back. Like if eventually, if you kill like a certain number of zombies, um, the uh, the it will actually drop the plant you lost. But um, with because you can actually move the plants around freely, it might not be often that you will actually lose them. I personally think this minigame is very fun. The next minigame is called Bomb All Together. This minigame is exclusive to the Nintendo DS version as well. And basically, you are limited on potato mines, cherry bombs, jalapenos, doom shrooms, coffee beans, and walnuts. This this minigame basically wants you to take all the uh, take out all the zombies using a limited number of explosive plants. And uh, you, I I haven't I haven't really beaten this minigame before, but you but. Uh, I think it's a, actually a neat concept, and um, and the fact that you are limited on on instant damaging plants, and and you have to use them strategically is definitely a neat idea for a mini game. The next mini game is called Home Run Derby, also exclusive to the Nintendo DS version. The idea is that you have this catapult zombie, and he's going to be launching basketballs. And, like, and all the zombies here will be wearing like baseball caps and like baseball uniforms. You would need to swipe on the screen really hard. <clears throat> you had to swipe on the on the screen really hard to hit the basketball into the sky to which you will get sun from. And all the while you gotta protect you gotta defend your house from the little well, I guess we're gonna call the baseball zombies from getting to them. You also have a uh and you have some plants at your disposal all over this minigame. You have cherry bombs, walnuts, potato mines, uh, chompers, and jalapenos. I think you can also kill the zombies with the uh, with the basketballs as well. Um, and if you kill the uh, catapult zombie, another one will just spawn. And to beat this minigame, you need to get 30 home runs. This next minigame is called Air Raid, and it is also ex exclusive to the Nintendo DS version. should be noted that uh, Home Run Derby and Air Raid are not in the Nintendo DSi version, and neither is a uh, bomb altogether. But in Air Raid, you take this Gatling P, and you slide it around the screen, and you hit Z Dr. Zomball with, the, with uh, the P's, and he'll be uh, launching projectiles back at you as well. You can also find he'll, he'll uh, release like ice balls that will bounce around the screen, and uh, and also fire like a laser. He can also you, you can also get um uh, power up plants from the uh, from the ice balls as well. Like you can get a jalapeno that will hit him. You can also get a pumpkin for extra defense, and you can even turn Gatling P the Gatling P into a three peter to. Uh, to uh, have uh, extra piece sp for splash damage, um, with uh, with bosses, this is um, on par of boss of bosses like um, Tatanga from Super Mario Land, or Kabula from Kirby's Dream Land, or Soldozer from FNAF World, where instead of like actively like trying to hit him, I would focus more on actually like avoiding the projectiles, and and just kind of like 
happening to hit him. It may make the fight take longer, but at least, you know, you'll win. And the final exclusive minigame. This one is... This one bugs me to no end. I think this might actually be my favorite Plants vs. Zombies minigame overall. It's called Zombie Trap. And it is the one minigame that is actually exclusive to the, to the DSiWare version of the game. Yes, to play this minigame, you need to get it from the Nintendo DSi shop, which shut down years ago, and it is exclusive to that version. And... And in this minigame, you have you basically have this little brain that you slide around the screen, and you and you know if the zombies catch it, you you know I'll eat it. But basically you but basically um you are limited on brains and cages. What you have to do is you have to slide the brain around the the, the screen, and luring the zombies around. You want to lure them to the center of the screen and then trap them with the cage icon, and then the birds will beat them up. You know, uh yeah like. In other versions of the game, there's like a comic relief of a bird, but, but yeah, you, but yeah, the, the you, and if you, and if you trap five zombies at a time, you will get an extra brain and an extra cage, and you have to, to, uh, and you have to, um, uh, catch 75 zombies to win the level. I have no idea why they made this video, this, this, uh, this minigame, exclusive to the DSiWare version. Maybe it was planned to be in the DS version, but, like, wasn't implemented. And if that's the case, why did they take out the other three minigames? This is... I... I don't know. But like I said, I had the, uh, DSi version, um, when I was growing up. Well, not growing up, but I had a DSi, and I had the DSi version of Plants vs. Zombies, and I just... I just don't recommend that version because it's just missing so many features, yet it has that one exclusive minigame that I really like. Alright, now that's all the exclusive minigames. Next time on Plants vs. Zombies, we're going to do puzzle mode. See you guys then.